Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the BP-50 Jack Revenger aftermarket kit. It turns the BP-50, a powerful AR, into an even more powerful SMG slash AR. So let's take a look at the Jack Revenger and see exactly what it does to our numbers. Damage remains the same, and this is amazing. Headshot, 38, 35 for the upper torso, 32 for the lower torso and upper legs. Range has decreased quite a bit. Effective damage range at 11.2 meters, but that's still okay, as the minimum damage range is 28.2 meters. Look at the fire rate. 983.6 rounds per minute. If you couple that with the damage, you can see that the kill metrics look like a four shot headshot, 244 milliseconds. Everything else is going to be 305 milliseconds, which is a very fast time to kill in Modern Warfare 3. The horizontal recoil is affected a little bit, 15%, but the vertical recoil down 30%. Mobility faster across the board, movement speed, Crouch movement speed, sprint speed 6.2 meters per second, tactical sprint speed 7.7 .7 meters per second, and ADS movement speed, you'll be bouncing off the walls at 3.3 meters per second. The ADS speed, especially fast at 180 milliseconds, and the sprint to fire, a mere 134 milliseconds. Reload is affected because it's a 60 round magazine, but you won't be changing it out as much. Let's look at some of the other attacks. Attachments. The TRST4 grip tape that helps with the recoil. One milliwatt Artemis laser. Doesn't say it does anything positive or negative except it helps with the aiming stability. I had a really hard time finding attachments to put on this weapon. You see that most of them are locked out and I didn't need an optic. The 9mm overpressured ammo increases flinch by 75%. If I have any engagements at long distance on the small map mosh pit or in free for all, it's going to make the enemy jerk around. So there it is, the configuration. Let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how we do. Free for all on Spore. The decor of this place reminds Grandpa of his first apartment after graduating from pilot training. Back when he was 22 years old. Practically flying sop with camels. Look at the range on this thing. We, I know we're, we didn't gack him, but we're putting bullets in him. There he is. And there's his buddy. And we get a mosquito drone. That's a good deal. What's a, who's that? Strawberry jack-o'-lantern? No, bubblegum jack-o'-lantern. That's, That's who she is. So you move fast. Oh, there's two lined up there. And then they... Huh? That didn't work out for me, by the way, that launcher thing. Still haven't put out my... Oh, turn around. The BP-50 at 140 millisecond sprint to fire... And an ADS less than 200 milliseconds is almost untouchable. That guy just fell for the oldest trick in the COD book. Oh, that guy's got a launcher too. And he wanted to just put it in my pie hole there. Oh, he did. Gosh. He just launched one grandpa and took it in the chest. That guy's been camping up there at the beginning of this game. Poor, poor second guy came in to gack the camper, and he got gacked there. So, ooh, bubblegum jack-o'-lantern got me. Guy's pulling out the launcher again. That really crushes team spirit in a free-for-all when you get launched on. So we're behind by four after 20 gacks. Not a good sign. Put out the mosquito. Maybe it'll do some work. It'll gack somebody other than Grandpa. What, what's going on here? I don't even know where that other person went. The only thing is slightly slow. Oh, bubblegum jack-o'-lantern hopping around like a kangaroo. Do you know when you hop, enemies' bullets can still gack you. Oh, there comes somebody. And I didn't see him before. I turned my back on him. Don't hold it against Grandpa. We got him in the face. And there's a remote turret. And Grandpa buys the farm. I feel confident running around with the BP-50. It feels 
like a chunk of metal and it feels like gacamole for the enemy. It's going to be a close one. One behind. I haven't seen anything from my mosquito drone and I'm about to get another one. I think Bubblegum Jack-O-Lantern is the king, is Elvis right now. There's a gack. Another mosquito will throw it out right after we gack that person. All right, we're up by one. I mean, at almost 990 rounds per minute, this thing is a bullet hose, and it punches hard. We got one more gack to win. Ah, bubblegum jack-o'-lantern. Perfect. So my first game, and that was truly my first game with the BP-50 and the Jack Revenger, the first free-for-all, was awesome. I mean, the, the weapon performs quite well. Got to go twice. Oh, it looks like mostly the same lobby. There was Bubblegum and Jack-O-Lantern. Going to be my nemesis. A little underwater fight there. Ha! Oh, somebody's tending bar. It's too early for that. It's bubblegum jack-o'-lantern. Slid right into her. See if that guy is still tending the bar. We'll leave a present for him. But I think combined with the overpressured ammo, we're putting out bullets really quickly. And... Uh, we're making the enemy flinch. So I think that's a pretty good combination, especially for free for all or for small to medium range maps. Even out, probably out to 30 meters, you get the overpressure ammo on them, they're going to be flinching. A little bit behind. Look at the strafe speed there is wonderful. Coming through. Oh, got launched on. That guy could have stayed at Spore. He should have stayed infected. Now, that guy, the Riddler or Joker or whatever, Riddler, I think, he was trying to camp his way to victory, and that's just really something that's rarely done in free-for-all. I probably have more than a 1,000 games in free-for-all over the years. Bubblegum and Jack-O-Lantern. And probably less than 10 of those, somebody was able to camp their way to victory. I think that guy was Elvis for he is Elvis right now. He's three gacks ahead of me. Go mosquito drone, my child, and bite somebody. See, I mean, just camping doesn't work in free for all. You gotta build angles on people. I think I'll do a video on how to win free for all. If you're interested in that, there we go, mosquito. Leave a comment below. I'll do that sometime next week if I get any comments on that. Somebody in the window. Elvis was in the window. Always good to get a king slay. Come on, die. Sorry. And we get a turret. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Turn around. See? Sprint to fire. Turret's out. Oh, that's somebody else's turret, and it's working on me. Gack poor old grandpa. Ah, there we go. We're ahead by a couple of three. We're up by three now. It's time to get tenacious and not give up the lead. Oh, somebody's trying to gag. Oh, Bubblegum Jack-O-Lantern was after me. And she got me. But we're up by five now. It's looking pretty good. And the BP-50 with the Jack Revenger is awesome. And I just don't say that about every gun. I mean, I have said it about three or four. But they truly are awesome. Some of the weapons will not be able to stand up against this. And there's another win. Six GAC ahead of the closest competitor. Enjoyed it. Hey, please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Try the Jack Revenger on the BP-50. It is a permanent class for me. Peace.